All right. Here we are looking at a 2024 Forest River FR333Z. It's actually an FR3 Plus, but this is the first time they have it in a full body paint scheme. Now, you look right here. Look at it. It's got black, light, silver, I guess, and white. And let's look at the outside. Here is a stereo television with speakers here, and this is the speaker control right here. Here's, these are your house batteries and hydraulic leveling system. And here we have a pass-through bay from the other side. And here is another little pass-through bay right here. Here is your fresh water tank. And here is your, what's like your hot water heater. Okay, and what Ten capacity? Down. Ten gallon capacity, okay. And here we have some really giant capacity rear storage here. Here's your ladder for your interior bunk right here. So right now we're looking at this rear cap right here. Just appreciate this full body paint scheme here. All right, and here's the show price right here. That's good for this day only or this show only. I'm sure you didn't negotiate something. Uh, you wanted to see it something, but here by the front door here are some electronics, your battery disconnect, etc. And we have a little flip up countertop right here. And look, it's Marie. Hey there. Hey. All right. Yeah, so. I've been trying to figure out, and I guess I realize they don't. I've been trying to figure out how to open up this cabinet here for like 10 minutes. I don't think it does. It's it, part it of the drop down it, bunk. But I was just trying to make sure that it didn't open, and it doesn't. So, but it does have a nice little cubby on either side that will be more accessible when the bed comes on down. There's also a speaker built up on each side. Now, I found this here. Kind of a couple things. What First, is that? I found this. That's what I said. I was going to ask you, what is this? Well, it may be a giant paperweight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. It does say Supra on it. If anybody knows what it is, well, it's uh, a lock, let us know. Obviously, it's probably where they put the T's. Okay, so interesting. Now, it has a nice desk here, and it flips over like this, and you got a nice deep well to store stuff. So that's pretty cool. It does have the drink holder on this side. You've got some USB ports on this side. And then over here, on the driver's side, of course, you have your backup camera and radio, your air conditioning controls, your normal shades and radio controls are here. You do have your mirror controls and your cruise control on the steering wheel. Your leveling system is off to your left along with your cup. And you have some mirror controls right here. And above the driver, we actually have two cubbies on either side. This area actually folds down into an overhead bunk. I do not know the capacity. No, at this time, I don't know where the controls actually raise and lower it, but I imagine they're here somewhere. There's also a little cubby next to the driver's side here for some things here. There is a place to put a table. A table right here, yeah. All right, let's go look at the, uh, okay. at the dinette here. We do have a dinette booth here that does convert into a, a bed, so it also has two cup holders. Some really nice windows. They are framed in brown wood. Nice and they're day and night shades that are integrated. In yes, there. the shades are very nice. Um, let me get the end here. I will show you. I was actually going to show you on the kitchen window because I have that open. <laughs> well, meantime, well, she shows you that. Here's your storage that's available on both sides. Okay. Of we do the have a few people looking at the coach, so if you hear a little extra noise, don't mind it. Here's the. Uh, Here's the nightshade, and here is the day shade. I just comes in, it coming up from YouTube. the bottom right there. See? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> so there's the day shades right there. Now they have a cabinet up above. Now to me, they really should have put a shelf in here because what are you going to do? Pile your plates, your bowls, your spoons, and your glasses. A nice shelf there would have been really nice. It's some real good usable space. I never had the idea to store the water bottle. Yeah, there gives you an example. It's plenty height. You need a shelf in there. Okay, you do have your sink here with the little toy bin lies here. I'll take Ben's toy. It's like half of that and right. half wooden here. Right, and you do have the other piece of the cover underneath the sink, which I'll show you in a minute. Above the convection microwave, you do have some storage. You do have a general electric mm -hmm. microwave and convection oven. Mm -hmm. Below that, you do have your stove. All right, um, oh, God, no wonder I grabbed the bar too. Okay, you have your gas stove. Now it's oven. actually a cooktop with an oven. 
It is. It has an oven. There you go. Okay, and literally going right back along the kitchen, we had this really big drawer. They got a nice little touch here. This is for your cutting. This is actually you, slide out of the it way. It slides out, and they do have a magnet to hold it in place. So this is a pretty deep drawer here. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. And there's two additional drawers down below it. You do have some additional space below the sink. Quite a bit of storage. You could actually put a shelf in there and store more. Now I got to show you behind this TV set, folks. Well, let's just see the, let's see what's here first before okay, we pull yes, it out. We have a little storage area here. You do have your TV, along with a drawer here, and you got dividers here for your remotes and such. And this is pretty deep here. Yeah, but wait till you see what's behind the TV set. All right, what's behind you? Oh Look my goodness! Look at the storage here. This is a you got spice a mag cabinet? magazine rack, spice counter. You can really do whatever you want. You got a shelf, a shelf, another shelf. Look at this. Well, honestly, can you know anyone would store their magazines behind this TV set? <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to look at them later and you're traveling, uh, so there's really some great space there. Oh, yeah, that is it's, nice. Isn't that amazing? We can see that space, too. I it? know, right? Yeah, if you want to see yourself on TV, it's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you forgot the electric fireplace. Okay, there is an electric fireplace below that, which feels really good on this cold day. I actually had a few people from Canada in earlier, and they thought this place was too hot. I'm from Florida, and I'm like, it's cold. So, Ben's playing with uh, canvas again. Yes. Okay, over here we have two recliners, but before I get to those, we do have a three-door pass-through cabinet. And again, you have the shades that are integrated, which are really nice. The window is framed. Instead of a valance, they put a nice frame one. I kind of actually like that idea better than the valances that stick out. What do you think, dear? Okay, please repeat that. The, the frame here, instead of putting a valance, they put a frame around yeah, the window. Yeah, that's actually a lot I like that idea. less of a dust collector. Yeah. And I less like likely the cats to scratch it. Yeah, having cats. Okay, so we do have some recliners here. They're electric. They are electric. Mm -hmm. We do have some space in between the store stuff yes. and on each end. On each end here, yes. And it's See, and you can also we, you can also exercise. It should be noted that we do have some USB ports in here for charging your devices. I was going to exercise. You interrupted and me. There's one special plus here, right down here. There's a drawer that comes out right there. Cool. So you have multiple storage even within your couch. Okay. You do have a residential refrigerator right next to the recliners. It's a two-door top refrigerator and a nice large freezer on the bottom. And let's oops. see if she can figure out how to open it. I don't know. Well, I'll open the door here. And let's see if there is a uh, there, there we you go. Know. Okay. Okay, so we do have the drawer. So you in learned the it here first, folks. Okay. We do have the controls on this side here. There's your air conditioning controls and your room slide out. outs, etc. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do have a bathroom mid mid midway in the coach. We do have a bathroom. I, we do. Thank goodness. Yes, I know it'd be a problem, wouldn't it? We do have a cabinet next to the mirror with some fixed shelves in it. And underneath the sink we also have plenty of space along with three more drawers on the side. Wow, that one, are they all real? I'm they all like... real. No fake panels here. Wow, well, now, there's an interesting looking shower behind here. Let's see yeah. what, it, what it's like here. All right, All right, well, going into the shower there. Well, actually, for height-wise, it's sufficient, but I, I am As you can see, I can't even I see can his touch head. It right here, but I would be a little bit shorter without my sneakers on. Um, but space-wise, it's not too bad. I can stand this way. I probably wouldn't stand this way. I hit my elbows all the time. So, this shower is a seven out of ten. And why is it a seven out of a ten? Well, it's not very wide. It's barely tall, and it's not the guillotine bar right here. So, that's my reading. Let's see how you like it, okay? All right. It does have a little triangle sheet here, which is good. It's got a little shelf here. Bar here would be nice to put our shampoo in. And I can actually lean here and have my coffee. Uh, not plenty of room for me. Not a problem. What about width-wise and whatnot? Well, it's a little tight, but I'm good. Plenty of room forward. Shave my legs. All right, well, let's, let's go on and continue here. Okay, moving on, we do have a dishwasher. A dishwasher? <laughs> 
washer and dryer. I don't know where that came from. It's like a clothes dishwasher, you know? Yeah, clothes dishwasher. There Stackable, we go. too, even. Oh, yeah. Look at that. One's, um, one's for plates and the other's for glasses. Okay. It's actually a washer and dryer, folks. Now, okay. Look at a beautiful window here, though. Generally speaking, it's kind of weird when you have a window so far here at the end of the RV, especially when you're looking back. It, it's, it's very weird in terms of depth perception. If you've ever been in an airplane with looking at the front window, it's the same kind of feature as what's really weird. Okay, you uh, have three separate cabinets up top. Yes. And this one has a 12 volt socket, a pass through for a CPAP, mm -hmm. and a AC outlet. Right. Now you also have integrated windows again with the wood trim. It's this is actually a USB port, but it's kind of weird because it's like, how do you get these things open? Yeah, well, there you go. They rotate like that. See how uh, they, they rotate? rotate. Okay. They you rotate. know, I had like three people come in here to figure it out. So See? there you go. There's the USB ports, folks. Hey, leave it to one me to figure side. these things out. One on each side. Yeah, I was asking some questions. See right here? Right here. You look at this point right here. You just with your thumb, just rotate it up like that. Can right. you do that over there, honey? Just rotate it up. There you go. See? <laughs> Man, I tried pulling it. Even she can do it. I tried pulling it, pushing it. Yeah, well, I wish I would have just left it like that, but okay, okay. simple okay. enough to find. Well, there's cubbies on right below the nightstand on either right. side. Uh, I don't think there's any outlets no, there's on no this outlets side. On the no, side of the bed, they're right there on the side of the wall. All there right. are two closets that are identical for wardrobe. Here and here. Now, there's nothing behind the TV set, is there? In in the middle is the TV set, but I don't think and there's any. a cubby here, but you can't pull, you can't pull it right, out. Right, can't yeah. pull it out. Below there, there are four drawers. We'll give you an idea of the size here, and then there's one more drawer below the wardrobe here. And that literally is everything in this coach. We hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please comment below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and always remember. Open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with the, the RV, RV keys. keys. Have a great day.